823, we are back. Executive Chef Ned Bell here spreading the message of ocean-wise sustainable choices. Good to see you, Ned. Yeah, great to see you, too. Um, so uh, exporting seafood, Canada is a major part of this game. You know, we are a huge play, uh, p player in this in the world of, of seafood. Of course, you know, the Pacific Ocean is a very large ocean, right? I mean, we're surrounded by three oceans in Canada, five oceans in the world, seven seas, but we happen to have some of the best seafood in the world right at our back door. And so, you know, when making best choice or when making sustainable choices, of course, you know, my recommendation is always look for the OceanWise logo, have a great relationship with a local fish monger so you know uh, Rob Clark at the fish counter or Janice you at fresh ideas start here or the finest at sea guys there's a, a number of really great seafood markets of course some of the bigger uh, retailers are also getting into the, the game so to speak of making sustainability uh, front and front and center in their in their fish counters but uh, you know there's I mean it can be confusing Right, and so that's why actually OceanWise was created. Was you know Rob Clark, Chef Rob Clark, uh, and Mike McDermott, uh, Mike McDermott, and the OceanWise team over uh, 11 years ago really recognized that chefs and consumers needed more information and needed you know a way to make it easier. And you're going to make it easier for us today. We have plenty of uh, options that you can get at the seafood counter, and then the sustainable choice from uh, our man Ned Bell. So let's talk about uh, BC Spot Bronze. That's the way you want to go, and instead of the black tiger prawn. Well, so I mean, here's the thing. You know, we are continuing to improve the way that we're farming uh, aquaculture around the world. The black tiger prawn is definitely one of the species that we have had concerns with. Uh, but now, of course, you know, we are so lucky to be able to celebrate wild shrimp and prawns from British Columbia. So the BC spot prawn season starts in May. Of course, it's this incredible celebration of this gorgeous species. There's also side striped shrimp, pink shrimp, hump back shrimp so lots of great wild options or of course you could actually look for these ocean wise recommended selva black tiger shrimp these are actually raised in naturally in natural mangrove forests so great alternative for uh, healthy aquaculture and also you know if you can't get your hands on on wild shrimp um, tuna what about tuna tuna so you know tuna one of the most consumed seafoods in North America you know we're so lucky to have albacore tuna I love albacore tuna um, because because it is pole in line cod. It's also really got incredible natural oils, S similar to like a ribeye steak in comparison to a beef tenderloin. It uh, has natural fats in it. Of course, natural is flavor. Natural fats and oils are flavor, and of course, make it taste better. Stay away from big red tunas unless, of course, it's ocean-wise recommended. And if we're going over to salmon, what should we keep in mind? Well, you know, we're <laughs> so fortunate, Riaz. The only place in the world where we have five species of wild salmon. I mean, is there a more important species uh, in the Pacific Ocean than the wild salmon? Of course, not only is it uh, health food, but it's this incredibly important species for killer whales and bears and trees and uh, what else am I trying to say? Eagles and humans. I mean, it's all a cycle that revolves around the salmon. So this is uh, actually Harrison River, Seine Cot. Uh, chum salmon and it's absolutely also known as Kida fantastic species one thing I want to quickly mention don't be afraid of frozen you know properly thawed fish so slowly thawed cold running water or thawed overnight in the fridge still can be spectacular quality all of these seafoods that you see in front of you were actually previously frozen and if treated properly and caught you know uh, sustainably and then frozen on the boat they're still premium quality okay Jumbo squid. We only have about a minute left. Okay, uh, jumbo squid. Go through, but jumbo squid. So uh, this is actually wild caught California uh, squid. These are some, some of the smaller squids. We also have this incredible Humboldt squid, which is this beast, uh, beast of a squid. You know, kind of looks like big steaks. Uh, if you're looking for best choice, wild caught um, USA squid is a fantastic alternative. Uh, and of course, you know, once again, if you're looking for uh, programs like the Monterey Bay Seafood Watch uh, or OceanWise, you know, makes makes your best choice. Okay, simple. S sable fish? 
Sable fish, so, you know, instead of maybe Chilean sea bass that we all used to have and love on our menus, uh, I love uh, black cod or sable fish. I also, as an alternative to that, we've got some ling cod here to show. Um, so right this is the sable fish here, and then this is the ling cod. This is actually from some friends of mine at Organic Ocean and Skipper Auto Community Supported Fishery, another great way to uh, get your hands on some great seafood. 30 seconds left. The main event right here on the plate, <laughs> sea cucumber. Do tell. Sea cucumber. Okay, so sea cucumber, you know, what we have to remember is there's hundreds, if not at least dozens of things in the ocean that we could and should be eating. You know, gooseneck barnacles, uh, gooey duck, things that we might not necessarily think of as sustainable what, or as what, something what, that we want to consume. What, what do you eat this with, by the way? <laughs> so this is incredibly popular with uh, with our Asian Chinese uh, friends. They love um, the texture of sea cucumber is a little bit gelatinous. Uh, you know, of course, finishing Lunar New Year, the year of the rooster, um, all about eating great things. I love Chinese food because it's got stories. Everything that they consume has some story to it. Sea cucumber is definitely an acquired taste. It's obviously visually sort of uh, you know, challenging. <laughs> I rem Jackson reminds Denver. me of when I served, uh, or when uh, uh, Tojo served uh, Prince William Gooey Duck, and Prince William was like, well, that's visually challenging. Ah, I'm going to use that next time I uh, head out. <laughs> Similar to Gooey Duck. But, you know, there is lo lots of great things in the ocean that we should and could be eating. Just look for the OceanWise logo. Makes your life simple. Well, you make our life simple, too. Ned, thanks so much. Follow along on social media with OceanWise. Great message and great choices we can make next time you hit that seafood counter. Uh, we'll take a quick break.